If you're looking for educational videos on the history of Arabic calligraphy, then this video is for you. Hey everybody, this is Muhammad Harun from Canvas Wonders, helping you create something worth wonders today. I created this compilation of the Holy Quran's video series for those that want to know how the Quran was preserved and finally compiled in the form of a book. In this particular video, will briefly inform you on how dots and diacritical marks were introduced into the Quran. It was not customary amongst early Arabs to place dots and letters. Scribes simply wrote words without any markings. Readers were so accustomed to this style that they experienced no difficulty in reading the dotless writing and could easily distinguish between doubtful letters by reference to the context. In fact, it was often considered to be an insult to include dots in writing. The renowned historian Madaini has quoted someone as saying, to include numerous dots in writing should amount to suspicion about the comprehension of the individual. Hence, the transcripts of Sayyidina Uthman an, were devoid of any dots, and apart from prevalent custom, this exclusion's primary purpose was also to incorporate all the mass transmitted recitals in the script. Later, however, dots were placed on letters for the convenience of non Arabs and less educated Muslims. Reports differ as to who was the first to place dots on the Quranic manuscripts. Some reports claim it was first accomplished by Abu Aswad al-Duwali. Some say that he did it on the instruction of Sayyidina Ali Still others say that the governor of Kufa, Ziyad ibn Abi Sufyan, requested him to do so. There are also reports that state that Abdul Malik ibn al-Marwan asked him to do it. There is yet another report that Hajjaj bin Yusuf ordered it done with the help of Hassan al-Basri, Yahya bin Ya'mur and Nasr ibn al-Asim al-Laythi. Some scholars believe that no concept of dots existed before the compilation of the Quranic script. But Allama Qalashkandi, arguably the most renowned researcher in the art of script and writings, refuted this claim and proved that dots had been invented long beforehand. According to one report, the inventors of Arabic writing script were Muramr ibn Murra, Aslam ibn Sidra, and Amir ibn Jadra of the tribe of Bulan. Muramr invented the shapes of the letters, Aslam laid down the methods for breaking and combining the words and letters, and Amir founded the dots. Yet another report claims that credit for the first utilization of dots goes to Sufyan ibn Umayyah, the grandfather of Abu Sufyan ibn Harb, who had learnt them from the people of Amber. Thus, dots were invented much earlier than the compilation of the Quranic transcripts, but they were kept free of them for various reasons. Whoever placed dots on the Quranic letters was not the inventor of dots, he was simply the first person to use them in the Quranic script. In the beginning, like dots, the Qur'an was also free of diacritical marks Fatha, Kasra and Dhamma. Historical reports differ as to who was the first to use them. Some claim they were first utilized by Abu al-Aswad al-Duwali. Others give credit to Hajjaj ibn Yusuf, who they say had appointed the task to Yahya ibn Ya'mur, Nasr ibn al-Asim al-Laythi. Keeping in view all the reports in this connection, it appears that diacritical marks were first invented by Abu al-Asud al duwali but these diacritical marks were different from how they exist today. Instead of the short vowel, a fatha, he would place a dot over the letter. For the short vowel, e kasra, he would place a dot under the letter. And for the short vowel, u dhamma, he would place a dot in front of the letter. To represent the nation, Tanweed, 
he would use two dots. Later on, Khalil ibn Ahmad founded science for the glottal stop Hamza and doubling Tashdeed. Afterwards, Hajjad bin Yusuf requested Yahya bin Ya'mur, Nasr ibn Asim al Laythi, and Hassan al Basri to place both the dots and diacritical marks on the Quranic letters. On this occasion, the present forms of diacritical marks were chosen rather than the use of dots so that they would not be confused with the intrinsic dots of the letters and Allah knows best. That's the end of this series. It's been great researching and providing content on my side as I got to learn a lot and I really hope you guys did too. As the history of Arabic calligraphy was born more or less around the time of the compilation of the Quran. That's why I thought I had to do some research on it and share it with you guys. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe as I have many more videos coming soon inshallah. And it would mean the world to me if you can share this video with your friends and family. If you have any questions or queries, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. And as always, May peace be with you.